flex and complex cases. Are you able to see my screen, Namrata? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, let me at the outset uh, thank uh, Namrata and the AOS for this wonderful opportunity. I think uh, Namrata, seriously, you have amazing energy levels and you are, I think, a role model for all of us and inspiration, motivation for all of us to do better and better. Thank you very much for the wonderful opportunity. I'm going to talk to you in the next eight minutes on flax in complex situations. We talked about white cataracts, heart brown cataracts, posterior polar cataracts, subluxated cataracts, fuchs endothelial dystrophy, cornea cateta, NHNT, neither here nor there cataracts, shallow mm -hmm. anterior chamber. So these are the various indications wherein the flax will probably be better than your manual FACO. As you know, the artificial intelligence is coming up in a big way. Can a computer perform better than a human brain? Okay, I think we have to say yes, because obviously because of the platforms like this, Catalyst, LensX, LensR, and uh, the Victus, and uh, I'm using the Catalyst. The simple analogy is manual FACO is similar to Sachin Tendulkar, and Flax is similar to Dhoni, because Dhoni is good in all the formats. Sachin Tendulkar is good only in one format, and that is the reason why it's a versatile technology to have with you, and it's a good armamentarium, especially for complex cases. As you know, incision, main port, side port, perfect rexes, nucleus liquefaction, complex situations, all these are going to be there. So hard brown cataracts is always a challenge. These are the complications which you can have in a hard brown cataract. This is a technology, always combine the technology. It's like a piece of granite inside the eye. You can see here, if you do a manual FACO, there's a possibility that you, you don't use the proper, uh, if you use a lot of FACO energy, there can be a corneal edema. The corneal edema can clear up but problem is the corneal edema can be associated with the toxic anterior segment syndrome like picture of a fibrin reaction. Please understand if the corneal edema, there is 25 to 30 percent of the cases can have associated cystoid macular edema as well. In femtofaco, we can see consistently clear corneas in these hard cataracts. Let us see this uh, hard cataract uh, video. You can see the rexis is already done. The advantage of the femto is that you can you can get a rexis which is slightly larger, about 5.5 .5 millimeter, because that re requires. You can see, I just show you that with the Sinsky hook, I'm able to separate this nucleus all the way down. Okay, because already the separation is done by the catalyst machine. You can see here the, with the very fact that the air bubbles are coming from back. We can see that I'm just separating. You can use even a blunt instrument to go there. Very minimal fake energy, already the separation is already that it's like a pre-chopped nucleus which makes life easy for you. So the amount of fake energy, the amount of manipulation which is there in the anterior chamber is so very less. You can see that once you can do this, the followability of the nucleus is also very real. I'm just increasing the grade of the cataract and see incision also I made in this particular case and go ahead with the uh, with the uh, with the with the with the with the FACO emulsification and because the femto, the femto can see that rexes I make slightly bigger. I make it about 5.3 uh, uh, millimeter because I want that space, extra space. You need to be a little careful on this hydro dissection because already some amount of pneumo dissection. You can see how hard these cataracts are there. And I'm using the my chopper, the, uh, the uh, sharp chopper, but you can see the very fact that the air bubbles, the gas bubbles are coming from, it means that, that the cut has gone all the way into the posterior nuclear plate. One of the biggest challenges in the heart cataracts is that uh, the, the opening of the posterior nuclear plate because it's so leathery and because the pre-chop, the, uh, the femto cuts the cataract all the way down, it makes the life very, very easy. Again, you can see the effective FACO time in this particular case is only 11 seconds. The very good advantage, the rexis is perfectly centered the perfectly circular axis, and I can just, I'm just doing a little amount of trenching there and chopping all the way down. So every time, the, the, the problem with the manual FACO is that when you, every time you need to go and chop, you need to uh, use the FACO energy. Every time you use the FACO energy, there is heat which is delivered there in the, uh, 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 in the thing. Again, you can see this is a cataract Niagara, uh, uh, black cataract. I'm using a manual FACO, I'm doing a manual FACO, I'm doing a trench all the way down and then chopping. You can see the chopping every time I chop, you can see the, uh, the effective FACO time is almost more than a minute. But you can see a similar uh, the black cataract, almost a black cataract can see here, the effective FACO time is only one fourth. 
the 25 seconds. So that is the biggest advantage. So the advantage you can see the because the pre chop is already there. I'm going in and then chopping these cataracts, which makes life very, very easy because the chopping is going all the way down. I just go in, I have to go and separate that with the with the chopper as well. You can see the various, uh, the uh, consistently clear corneas. That is one of the biggest advantages and they want, again, another patient with the cornea gateta. So this is a cornea gateta patient, Fuchs dystrophy, and you can see the endothelial counts are very, very low, almost uh, 1,000. And you can see here, this is a Fuchs uh, patient. You can see here, I'm doing a toric lens as a particular patient. This is a perfect indication because the amount of phaco energy is also on heart cataract as well. The amount of phaco energy used is very, very less. And weeks, where you can see the post operative day one, um, uh, the uh, two hours, and day two, and the, the clear cornea. So the advantage is reduce surgical time, reduce effective phaco time, more precision, clearer corneas, day one, reduce complications. Again, posterior polar cataracts, <coughs> it makes very life easy because you can keep the offset about 900 micron. Otherwise, you, uh, we keep it around 500 micron for the posterior capsule. And just doing a hydro delineation in this case, you just have to go in and pick up this already cut cataract, the, the, the pre-chopped uh, so-called nucleus, because more, many of these posterior polar cataracts, the control is much better. So posterior polar cataracts, I do femto now routinely, even if the patient cannot pay, because uh, I find that the safety margin is much better. You can have a much better plan with these patients. Then again, see, I'm doing a posterior polar cataract, and the 900 micron is the sink. Again, the excess is uh, uh, this correct size, so five millimeter or so, Hydro delineation, gentle hydro delineation. You don't have to rotate the nucleus at all. So that is the biggest advantage of the femto, the catalyst. You just have to go in and pick up the uh, uh, the, 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 the nucleus. Again, a subluxated cataract. This is a patient who had a trauma and 28-year-old female. And you can see her. Rexis is the biggest challenge in subluxated cataract. The patient also had a dialysis, uh, hydrodialysis. Again, going in and, and uh, removing this cataract is very easy. Again, a subluxated total cataract, traumatic shuttlecock injury. And this patient also had a uh, missing and very, very easy. I uh, just did a femto and then going ahead. The rexis is the most important uh, challenge. You can see here again, the, uh, the white cataracts, the, the still, the, uh, uh, don't underestimate the catalyst. You still can go ahead and penetrate the, uh, uh, the nucleus as well. And you can see that the, uh, the nucleus is penetrated very well and went ahead with the CTR and a multi-piece lens in the sulcus. Again, white cataracts, we have already shown that uh, the different techniques, the Zepto, the, uh, the uh, aspiration of the lens cortex, and I, I have devised this punctorexis. But the white cataract, we want 100% foolproof technique. Probably the Femto is the way to go. And only thing is, don't pull the rexis out because there can be skip areas. Always make sure that there are, because can be small areas of attachment in the white cataract. And again, very, very important for you to understand that the femto cataract. Again, in small pupils, if it's very small pupil, I don't go in and do a malignant ring and then some, pay, some surgeons do it. But I just do a very, uh, the pupil is about 5 or uh, 5.5 is my cutoff. Uh, and then I go ahead and do, because the, the, the catalyst cuts beyond the margin of the pupil. I have a, already a rexis size, which is there. And we may say again the NHNT cataract. These are cataracts which never chop, never crack, never uh, never suck. And these are cataracts which uh, for which uh, uh, the 100% I will do the femtofaco. And uh, because it, we can go ahead and just remove the this thing again. This is my experience with the femto since uh, four years. White cataracts, hard brown cataracts, posterior polar cataracts, subluxatory cataracts. Fuchs endothelial dystrophy, of course, post vitrectomized. Only the problem is silicon oil in the anterior chamber. I find there are uh, problems with the rexis. Safety, precision, bladeless consistency, wow effect, group platform marketing, differentiation practice as well. Thank you again, Namrata, for the <laughs> wonderful opportunity and the patient attention. And thank you, AOS, also. I'll stop sharing my screen now. Thank you.